Mostly cloudy skies and light snow in the area. Hi, everyone. Bob McGuire here in the Q2 Weather Center. And right now, it's a little chilly. We have 20 degrees and mostly cloudy skies and a wind chill factor that feels like 7 degrees above zero out there. Around the rest of the state, temps are mostly into the 20s and 30s out in the west, but back in the east, it's more like teens and 20s. Yeah, a little bit colder back in the eastern part of the state. You'll notice we do have a winter weather advisory for south central Montana until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. One to four inches of snow expected, and you'll notice maybe some slick roads around that area when that starts falling like that. In Yellowstone Park, could pick up another one to two inches of snow there, and over by Sheridan, maybe four to eight inches of snow by the time this whole thing is over and done with. In the meantime, check it out on the Doppler radar. You can see a batch of snow between Missoula and Great Falls. I think that could be the batch that start to make its way into the Billings area. We also have a little batch of snow around the Beartooth Mountains. We think those possibly could push their way into the Billings area before the night is over with. In fact, that's what our high-resolution forecast model is showing. That stuff all comes together about 6 o'clock in the evening, and it starts producing more snow showers here overnight. And then by Friday morning, it kind of leaves us, and we have a little break in the action. But by Friday afternoon and Friday night, here comes some more snow showers. It'll stick around through Saturday morning. Then by Saturday afternoon, those snow showers will continue to move on, and we start to dry up again. But you'll notice snowfall amounts are expected to be right around 2 to 4 inches of snow by the time the end of the weekend gets here, as much as 4 to 6 by Livingston, 2 to 4 in Bozeman. And as far as temperatures, we'll be 21 degrees next hour, roll back down into the teens in the morning, up to 28 degrees. About this time tomorrow afternoon, we'll top out at 28 on Friday, 35 on Saturday, and then we'll roll it all the way back down to 1 below zero for the high on Tuesday and Wednesday next week once that Arctic air mass starts moving in. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.